cruising along a backcountry road, Carson National Forest, northern New Mexico. This, as you guessed, is the 92 Fleetwood Coupe. Uh, one of the extremely few that year. And you see there's no warning lights anywhere. Everything is working. The air conditioner feels good. The heat works good. All the power accessories work. genuine wood in the fleet woods. It wasn't in the Sedan Bills, but it was in the fleet woods. American cherry wood. Uh, and not a facade, but you can see it's actually a genuine chunk. Uh, let's see. 4.9 liter Cadillac V8 four-speed automatic. The uh, 4.9 was a very good engine. 200 horses and a whole bunch of low-end torque. Uh, which makes it uh, feel by most people's admission, uh, quick around town. It's adequate on the highway, a little above adequate. Uh, probably the best thing about this Fleetwood is, uh, I believe 91, 92, 93 had the, what they call the road sensing suspension, which was like the Corvette. It was a uh, three uh, position uh, strut shock absorber, uh, electrically controlled by an, a, an actuator on top which on the Cadillac's case was uh, moved at a speed in 91, uh, I believe it was around 20 some odd miles an hour. And then in 92, they moved the speeds up a little bit so you get super soft, the softest setting. Uh, and then above 30 some odd miles an hour, you get medium setting. And then above, I believe 65 on the 92s, you get the firmest setting. And what does all this mean? Well, it means it gets rid of the uh, flop and float uh, that these cars exhibited at highway speeds uh, with the factory struts in place and uh, makes it very comfy down low and firm up top and, and, and yes the system is working as described it's a very good system Ferrari has adopted it my Ferrari has it on it by chance Corvette they got it initially and then Cadillac on the Almonte uh, got it um, and they've further refined it with magnetic particles in the shocks or struts to uh, make them even more uh, sensitive to uh, change. Anyway, <laughs> except for my voice, dead quiet. Here we go. That calm, easy 50, oh, excuse me, I can't even read it through my phone. Almost 50 miles an hour as we go through the uh, forest here. Very composed. Really, it was as good as these uh, relatively smaller front-wheel drive cars ever got. This has the best suspension, uh, the best drivetrain, and the, at this point they were long-lasting, dependable cars. If you talked to an owner at this point in time, they were happy. Unlike, say, a 1982 Cadillac owner who would voluntarily uh, drive his new car to the crusher. And um, that's not I'd give you a tune. Radio works, power antenna works, all the speakers work. Not a bad sound. Still, still cassette. Um, and so here we are. I give if I have a little more straight away. I don't want to upset anybody. I give it a little bit of a punch. Remember, we're at seven thousand four hundred feet. <laughs> 